Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the new Chalet OS. Uh, it's an Ubuntu based distribution. This is their most recent uh, update and it's based on the 16.04. Now so far it looks like um, they did a, a nice job on on the distribution. Let me pull up the uh, information on DistroWatch. And let's see, Chalet OS. So it, it is now based on the 1604 uh, Ubuntu release. Um, Chalet OS has always been a, a good distribution for people coming over from Windows. Um, you can set it up to look very similar to Windows. As a matter of fact, uh, Chalet OS has built in a, what's called a style changer and if I bring that up, you can see that you can change the theming. Um, there are classic and modern versions of various colors. So for example, the beige classic has a standard um, windows kind of oriented um, window treatment. And so you can see that the windows look very much like a, uh, a windows based system uh, and they have the same version in the modern which kind of creates a flatter more modern look to the window um, as I said there are lots of different colors um, what I've got here is the default so if you were to open up a file manager, for example, this is what you would see um, on the default. You can see the file manager, the look of the window. It's more of a flatter look. It's it's the it comes with the the modern theming um, as default. Now I noticed that. Um, you may, it may not be coming through on the video with screen tearing is pretty um, pretty drastic so I would have to go ahead and um, enable the uh, compositing let's see if they have that window manager tweaks And let's see on compositing. See, they've got it enabled. It is not doing a, a good job, whatever it is that they have enabled. Uh, I would prefer to use Compton, and I'm sure Compton would get rid of the screen tearing. But um, nevertheless, it is uh, a, a nice distribution. The Compton will take care of that screen tearing, and you'd have a, a fine looking desktop. Now, it's uh, XFCE based. I normally like the uh, categories on the left. So if I right click the menu, go to properties, and go to behavior, display uh, favorites by default. I'm going to put 10 and I'm going to position the categories next to the panel button. So if I do that, now the categories have moved to the left. That's just my personal preference. Of course, you could leave it whatever whatever way you prefer. Um, for accessories, let's see, let me expand that a little bit. Um, all of these are standard. I really didn't. Uh, add anything except to the multimedia categories but for accessories you've got all the standard accessories including a link to the chalet website um, games you got a couple of simple games graphics uh, there's a document viewer and the ristretto image viewer you do have GIMP uh, Firefox is the default browser. Pigeon is installed. Uh, there is a radio player. 
uh, multimedia I installed GeoVC View Kazam uh, OpenShot SM player uh, everything else was default for office you've got a document viewer a dictionary uh, and an ebook uh, application for settings you do have all of the normal settings uh, so you can tweak the system to your liking then you've got uh, what appears to be synaptic along with the Ubuntu application center and a task manager now if I click on settings you'll see that it's got the standard XFCE settings menu and you can tweak pretty much everything uh, looks like wine is installed because wine tricks is in the settings menu so additional drivers you can install your proprietary drivers through that um, window manager tweaks we talked about that compositing I would turn it off and just install Compton um, let's go back and take a look at the style changer well let's let's take a look at start point now start point is basically training um, it gets you oriented to chalet OS you've got uh, lots of different videos that uh, guide you through all of the um, topics that you might find applicable for example install chalet OS alongside Windows 7 the first things to do after your chalet OS install how to monitor a network how to make a shortcut on the desktop how to use the chalet forum how to update your start point application um, you've got installing add-ons to Mozilla, changing audacious skins, desktop conkeys, changing styles with the style changer. So you've got all of the various topics that a new user or even a, a, a semi-experienced Linux user might get some benefit out of. So there are a lot of topics that deal mainly with training and orientation uh, to be able to get the most out of the chalet OS experience so that is on your start point and that is I believe a very nice addition now for style changer let's go ahead and, and make a change to the style uh, we're going to on the style we're going to let's see we will change to the transparents don't appear to have um, an example an image now win 7 silver classic as you can see that is the um, evidently a windows 7 an attempt to look like Windows 7 so if I click on apply um, you can see that there were some changes to my desktop now in the in this image the icons are along the top of the screen which they are not after applying I'm not sure why that is but uh, let's take a look at the purple classic if I click apply you can see that the changes were are pretty dramatic um, let's try evening classic and again the changes are pretty dramatic it's very very nice I like the look so I'm gonna leave that alone now the conky uh, it gave me a little warning saying that it may not change immediately but if you have an example of the conky the look of the conky so you've got a lot of different conkeys now conkeys uh, normally provide information on your screen and you've got various looks to be had now see this look here this is the modern clock in blue you've got it in green in orange 
semi-transparent black, semi-transparent blue. The default, let's see, I believe the default was designated. And let's see, yes. So the, the default is modern clock semi-transparent white. And that's what you see up in the top right corner. So let's, let's try it. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we will go ahead and see if we can change to this blue modern clock. If I click apply, and as you can see, it did change. So it gives you quite a bit of control over uh, how your desktop appears. So that is the Chalet OS, the newest version based upon Ubuntu 16.04. They've done a fine job. I like the look. Everything seems to work fine. The install was uh, very easy, a typical Ubuntu install, no issues whatsoever. Two thumbs up for Chalet OS. Uh, it is geared towards new users and people moving from Windows over to Linux. And I believe it does a good job. Uh, servicing that that market so guys that is it for today's review uh, please rate comment and subscribe thank you very much for stopping by the channel and I'll see you soon take care